the idea that you can wake up before the sun rises, hike up a mountain, and ski down, all while the rest of the world is sleeping, was a game changer for me. Usually I wake up and I get hydrated, pack up my things, and start the drive to where I'm starting my hike. The car ride is nice. You have time to think. I usually leave the radio off so that my thoughts are my own. It's quiet, not too much traffic. It's peaceful. The hike starts in the dark. It's cold. You only see a couple feet in front of you, illuminated by your headlamp. It is one foot in front of the other. But you know that the darkness will not last forever. A sunrise never ceases to amaze me. It is beauty that can't really be described. Better to be experienced. It certainly brings peace to your day. Getting to the summit is always rewarding. All that uphill exercise pays off when you click in your skis, put on your goggles, and ski down fresh snow. This is the essence of a Dawn Patrol. tips and tricks to keep in mind for a Dawn Patrol. So one, bring extra layers. So what I do is I have, I start with three layers. So one, the long sleeve undershirt, and then I have this 
lightweight, thin, hard shell. And then on top, I'll put a poofy coat. Puffy coat, I guess. It's called puffy coat. You know, take off some layers when you get hot, and that always helps. So if you're with a partner, remember to bring your avalanche equipment, beacon, probe, shovel, turn on the beacon. Oh, another tip I do, which I think is great. So get your equipment ready as much as possible before you start. So that means putting your skins on your skis before you get in the car and leave. What that does is when you meet up with your partners, you're already ready to go, but it just makes it so you're more efficient with your time and you're faster to get on the trail. It's not really a trail, it's a skin track or it's just snow. Bring some water, bring some food, just in case you're out there longer than expected. You never know when you get thirsty and you never know when you get hungry and it's always good to have some calories so you don't bonk. As for your goggles, I always wear a clear lens goggle. What this does is if it's really cloudy or you have some poor light, I like the clear lenses because you're able to see clearly. Even on really sunny days, it's okay that I have the clear lenses because usually I'll have extra sunglasses that I have for hiking. As for a headlamp, just any normal headlamp will do. You don't have to go fancy because really you need the headlamp for one or two hours and that's it. And then it will get sunny and then you can see. Oh, this is important. So buffs and to keep your head warm. So I usually bring at minimum two buffs. I hike up with one and I get really sweaty. And so at the top, I'll take off that buff and then put on a new fresh buff. I just like that because it's nice, fresh, clean for the way down. So that's it for the Dawn Patrol. Let me know what you do for a Dawn Patrol. Give the video a like, put a comment down below. And as always, stay tuned, stay hungry, and stay wild.